Hey folks, how you doing? My name is John from Hopes and Dreams. I'm here with Mabel. Here with Mabel today. We're talking a little bit about hopes, trying to fulfill your hopes. But we have a special guest today. His name is Vince. Vince is going to tell you a little bit about his story, how it all came about. I want you guys to listen very closely today because this is how you start with nothing and become something. That's what's always important in your life. What do you want to fulfill? How do you fulfill it? How do you get the right people to help you? We did a story not that long ago about talking about help. Today, we're going to show you how to get that help. So now we're going to talk to Vince. Vince, I'm going to just uh, go through a little bit today. I want you to tell me a little bit about your story, how you started. So let's go back to your childhood, uh, high school days. Okay, sounds good. So. So when I was in high school, uh, I loved sports. Uh, that was where I found all my formation. I wanted Thanks. to win. I wanted to be successful in sports. But uh, you know, uh, I wanted to make my dad proud. You know, my dad was a businessman. You know, and uh, awesome. you know, uh, he was not. To, he didn't have any formal education or anything like that. But he was a, a little bit successful. And all my life, I just wanted to hear that voice of my father say, "Son, I'm well pleased." And and the thing is, uh, I started to drive very hard when I was young. I had a dream to make my dad proud. So uh, in high school, it was very hard. I, I had some issue with drugs, you know, a little sure, bit, you know. Understandable. And, uh, understandable. and then I, I start to, um, you know, I had a lot of brokenness, a lot of uh, mental abuse. Uh, the, boy, sure. the boyfriend of my mom was uh, very hard. And okay, everything. understandable. You know, yes. so I came from a background where, uh, you know, I just wanted somebody to pour love into me, to encourage me, to believe in me. And I found that later on in life, but at first, you know, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I had a lot of doubt, a lot of fear. Uh, I felt I, like I had something to prove. And uh, so that's, from my background, you know, I was a, an athlete. I didn't really enjoy school, but uh, right on. I love business and uh, I wanted to be my dad. Well, that's awesome. And so you started uh, at what age? Around 18, 20, that you figured so, you needed a change in life? So what ended up happening is, uh, I got kicked out of school in, uh, in grade 12 and I ended up, uh, uh, you know, I couldn't live with my parents so I ended up living with my dad and uh, my dad and my and uh, his wife at that point, you know, didn't have a good relationship so okay. at 17 years old I was living in a motel right. and uh, I was struggling, you know, and my dad pushed for me to get a landscaping job and I remember just uh, building work ethics and uh, starting and traveling from, from where I, I, I live to to take my bike six kilometers to go to work, working landscaping, building walls and everything like that for like 12 hours under the table right, and right. coming back. But <laughs> right. uh, I met a guy, one of my buddies came to uh, to my place. I had a one bedroom apartment and he says, hey Vince, you want to make more money? And I'm like, yeah, for sure. And he brought me to a meeting called Excel Telecommunication. And then uh, what ended up happening is uh, I joined my first business and then my I ended up uh, going there with my dad and my dad says, go for it for experience. But I ended up falling in love with entrepreneurship and business. Awesome, so what we're gonna do, Vince, we're gonna come back, we're gonna take it from there, we're gonna find out a little more about your story. So please stay tuned, my bell's gonna take a little more snapshots out of your area. So peace, people, don't go away, because we have a lot more to talk about. Bye for now. Hey folks, we're back for a quick few more minutes to tell you a little more about Vince's story. So I'm going to pass it over to Vince, and Vince is going to tell you the process of what he did, how he did it, and it's very important that you listen because this is an amazing story, not just for me, for the whole world to listen. So I'm going to pass it over to Vince, so please stay tuned, and here he is. So, uh, so guys, you know, from where I left off my story, I remember being 18 years old and being in the business and not making any money, but the only thing I had was hope in me. I want to have a chance to change my life. I wanted to be successful. I wanted to live a great quality of life. I wanted to make my parents proud. And I remember struggling and my parents having to drop my food out of the home. And I was so struggling and, and my, my parents helped me a little bit. You know, my mom was very gentle and kind. But the boy of my mom was very mentally abusive and hard and he's not like that no more. I love him too. But dearly, you know, we restored the relationship. And then what ended up happening is I joined the military because my dad said I should join the Air Force. And then I joined the Air Force, but deep down inside, I wanted to be my own boss. I wanted to call my own shot. I wanted to fulfill my destiny, my dream. And what ended up happening is uh, I joined a business, but 
the, the first thing is I was very dissatisfied. I think the first key to success is you need to be dissatisfied. You need to hit the rock bottom where you look at your life and like, man, there must be something more. There must be a chance to make more money. There must be a chance to make an impact. You know, I look at my re relationship. I want a better relationship. I want a better lifestyle. I want to make an impact. And then I pick up a book and, and that's the key. You know, I pick up a book from a gentleman that was making $10,000 a month when I was 18 years old. And the book was called Think and Grow Rich. And he helped me about having desire and faith. And I was naive. I think one of the key of success is to be naive, is to have a little bit of faith because what ended up happening is the book says, if you read the book that successful people have written, you're going to achieve what they achieve. All the story has been written. They're all in the library. The knowledge is free, but there's not just enough reader. All the content of YouTube video, all the information is all there for people to become successful in leadership, in compassion, in giving, in people skills, in sales, in marketing. But there's not just enough researcher. The key is a burning desire, gang. And I had a burning desire. I wanted to be somebody. I wanted to change my life. I wanted to help people. And then what ended up happening is I found a path into the book he says if you want to be successful financially read book on, on finance and what ended up happening is I pick up a book called automatic millionaire by David Bach and he taught me about mutual fund and investment and I met my boss in the military it was a client of Primerica and I became a financial services representative for mutual fund license life license and mortgages that's awesome Vince. so what we're saying here now uh, to all our viewers is that success becomes with knowledge you have to practice you have to work on things just like Vince is saying so what we're gonna do we're gonna come back in a few more minutes we're gonna talk to Vince a little more and get more into depth about how this all came about so please stay tuned